Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so it's been about a day now since Trello announced a bunch of changes to their pricing plans. For some people that won't have changed anything, particularly if you're on the, the higher end, the more expensive tiers, but those on the slightly cheaper ones, there are a lot of big changes, particularly for those on Trello Gold, uh, or I should say were on Trello Gold, as Trello Gold has now been removed. Uh, so this plan is com is being wound down um, and I wanted to create this video just to help any of those people that are on that plan uh, to know what this is all about and what their options are next. So I'll quickly explain what the changes are. If we look at the pricing table, this is a nice overview. So the free plan, this has actually improved quite a lot. Uh, we're now given unlimited power-ups for this plan. So you can add as many power-ups as you like to your board. Previously, this was restricted to one. So that's obviously a great thing. And this was probably one of the main reasons people would have upgraded to Trello Gold in the first place. So to have those three power-ups that that gave you. So if you are one of those people, then this is great news. You can now just go to the free plan and uh, continue using Trello. So there is one big change that is a massive negative um, for the free plan and that is around the custom fields power up or feature. So it used to be a power up, it was free, you could just add it to your board and, and use custom fields, which I know is a really popular feature for a lot of people. But Trello have made this now a integral part, like a core feature of the product. So it's no longer a power up, it's just built straight into Trello. However, it's restricted to only those that are on one of the paid plans. So you would need to upgrade to the next tier in order to use this. So free is great if you don't use custom fields, but if you do want to use them, then you're going to have to look at the other options. And moving on to that, so you'll see next on the list, we've got Trello Standard. It might seem like a straight swap for Trello Gold because of the $5 price point there, but don't be fooled. This is actually quite different, uh, especially in the way it's built. So if you're an individual and you don't work with anyone else on your Trello boards, then that's probably going to be the case it will be a straight swap but if you do work with other people then the cost is going to go up quite a lot so let's say you have a team of five people you will no longer be billed for just yourself to get access to these features you will be billed for all of those people that are in your workspace which is your collection of boards and therefore the price obviously is going to be a lot higher in this case it would be say $25 a month rather than just the five that you were used to paying before the benefit though of this is, although it's more expensive, you do get access to some of the extra features that do really help with team working. Uh, the main one being advanced checklists. So advanced checklists allow you to, to add due dates and members to your subtasks or your checklist items, which is really helpful if you obviously are working with lots of people. And as I just mentioned, custom fields are accessible on standard. So that is a big plus if you if you use those quite heavily. There are some other extra benefits too, like you get more storage for attachments and there's more command runs and operations for Butler. So more automation without as many limits, that kind of thing. But generally speaking, I think those are the main benefits. So those are kind of the main two options, let's say, but there is a third for those on gold and that is to go straight up to the premium plan. And this is actually just the business class plan renamed, to be honest. Uh, there's one change in that you can have more automation. Um, there's higher limits on this, but essentially it's just a name swap. But crucially for gold uh, members, Trello are offering a 60% discount on this plan and also a 60 day trial as well. So you can give it a go and see what you what you find. There are a bunch of great features on business class, uh, including the new dashboard, timeline, map and calendar views, which are actually really helpful. And they were really released around February this, this year. So um, they're definitely worth a look at least and see how they might be able to help you. But of course, if, you, if it's not for you, you can just go back to the free plan or, or, or standard instead. Okay, so that's it. There's a quick overview of these changes um, and hopefully gives you some idea of where you should go to next if you are one of those gold users. I'll leave a few links in the description below, particularly around Trello Gold. There's a few really helpful FAQs. And finally, there's a summary of this video in a blog that we've put together too that's already published. So I'll, again, I'll leave that in the description. So I try to be pretty quick and prompt on any news that comes out of Trello. So if you do want to be up to date on this kind of thing, then make sure you subscribe 
to the channel um, and if you want to be really up to date hit that bell icon and then you'll get that notification every time we release a video we also will do a lot of tips and tricks and that kind of thing that's the normal bread and butter but when there's a big update like this i'll definitely try and put out a video as well thanks for watching hope that's helpful and i hope to see you next time